Well, it has been a rough few months on the job market for Iowans. Today, we learned of the third bout of layoffs for a major employer. But before we dive into it, here's a reminder of some of the job losses announced since March. That's when we learned about the massive cuts at the Tyson Foods pork plant in Perry. You'll remember over 1,200 employees were laid off when the plant announced it would be closing June 28th. Then John Deere announced in April the first round of layoffs in Waterloo. To date, the location has seen 500 jobs lost. Then just earlier this week, John Deere announced 70 more cuts in Ankeny and Urbandale. Now, another large agriculture related business is laying off over 100 workers. Our Dana Searles has more on the impacts that this will have and what we know so far. Stephanie, in meetings earlier today, at least 118 employees at Bridgestone, which is the producer of Firestone Tires, were told they would be out of a job. And with more layoffs to come, union leaders say the impact of this is going to be much larger. This is going to touch everybody in the factory. There's no doubt about it. Employees at Bridgestone Factory who have been there for less than two years will be out of a job come July 5th. He's frustrated. I'm frustrated. There isn't anybody that works in this union hall that isn't frustrated right now. Uh, it's tough. Once the layoffs take effect, the workers left in the factory will have to fill open spaces and work different jobs, possibly leading to pay cuts. And then there will be voluntary layoffs. And then they will have to decide if they have enough to run a shift. Maybe they have too much. Maybe they don't have enough and they'll, they'll continue that rotation until they figure that out. On top of that, the factory will close for 29 days from now until the end of the year. Bell says this is equivalent to five to $7,000 worth of work. Bridgestone told Local 5 that these layoffs are because of demand constraints in the agricultural tire sector. It's the third major layoff in agricultural related fields in Iowa just this year. The ag market always seems to be kind of cyclical like this. Um, the uh, within their communications today, they kind of showed how this is this is kind of par for the course. Bridgestone tells me it is confident this move will allow it to be more cost effective, saying this was a difficult decision.